Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Marlon from Fishing Addicts Northwest. I thought I'd bring you a little spoon tip here. A lot of companies out there, you know, they sell spoons in bulk. Basically, you know, you can buy spoons. They have no other hardware on them. Um, one of my favorite spoon manufacturers that does this is River Fisher. You can, you can go to his website and I'm pretty sure you can buy bulk spoons that are basically un... They have no hardware on them. And there's a lot of companies that you can do that with. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that don't know what hardware to put on their spoons. So I thought I'd give you a little quick rundown of how I set up my spoon when I'm going out fishing. Alright guys, so here we go. We got some River Fisher spoons here. These are some of my favorite spoons on the market. If you haven't checked these guys out, check out River Fisher Tackle on Facebook or go to their website, riverfishertackle.com. They make some awesome spoons. Um, but basically, you can buy these spoons in bulk with no hardware on them. So I was going to show you how I set my spoons up. You have your um, <clears throat> Big River Gami hook, then you have two split rings and a barrel swivel. And so what you're going to do to start out here is as you can see on the spoon, there's a hole in the top of the spoon and then there's a hole in the bottom of the spoon. And you want to put split rings on both of those holes. So to start out, let's put those split rings on. Okay, there we go. Now we got the, the two split rings onto the, each end of the spoon. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put your barrel swivel on the top split ring, the one that's at the top of the spoon. And you don't really need to use your split ring pliers usually for this. See if I can do it here without using them. Usually you can just get it on there. It is a little bit of a pain. If you want to use your split ring pliers, go for it. But basically what this barrel swivel is doing, we're putting this on the top of the split ring so that way when that fish is rolling with that spoon in his mouth that barrel swivel will spin and it's less likely that the fish is going to be able to get that spoon ripped out of its get that hook ripped out of his mouth with this barrel swivel because it'll be able to spin a little bit more freely that's my theory with it I'm not sure what other people like to do there but that's why I put a barrel swivel there next what you're going to do is uh, on these gommy hooks I, I got the open eye hooks so basically, they're they're just they just got an open eye on there, and I like to have my hook point facing the bottom of the spoon. So this is how you want it set up: bottom of the spoon. No one ever taught me this, and I and I wish someone would have. For the longest time, I fished it backwards until one of my friends on the river told me, "Hey, what are you doing fishing your spoon like that?" Um, basically, you want it like that, so that way, if the fish comes and grabs, you can see there's this this angle in the spoon right here if he comes and grabs he bites down on that angle and boom that hook gets him right in the corner of the mouth as soon as he turns down river so anyway we got the open eye pretty simple just make sure that that hook is facing down and then you're going to cinch down this with a little plier action here these are a little bit tough to get bent down but make sure they're on there nice and tight so that way your split ring doesn't pop out of that hook Alright guys, so that's it. That's how I accessorize my spoon. It's very simple. I got my barrel swivel to a split ring, to your spoon, to a split ring, to your gami hook. Gami Big River hook. I really like those hooks. And that's how you accessorize these spoons. Make sure you go check out River Fisher Tackle. They make some awesome hardware. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And if you guys got any tutorials or you got anything that you want to learn, Northwest fishing, it doesn't matter if it's bass, trout, salmon, steelhead, we will find someone that we can make a video with or we'll make it ourselves. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the river.